Not only are restaurants and food service providers anxious to see things start opening back up, so are those who supply them. John Shumway has a story of an idle cheese factory in our area that's sitting on a lot of cheese. In 200 pound cases, 1800 pound pallets stacked to the ceiling. The Fairview Swiss cheese waits. Right around 2 million pounds or better. You heard right. 2 million pounds of cheese, which should be going to the four winds. It could go to Boston, it could go to St. Louis, wherever. Florida is a huge consumer for Cuban sandwiches. Cheese is still moving through the grocery stores and the delis in that form, but that's only a part of the industry. Richard Kohler and his sons and his dad before him have weathered tough economic times and foreign competitors undercutting them. But COVID-19? This is something unbelievable, something unimaginable. I couldn't have come up with this in my worst nightmare. And he aches for the farmers whose milk he's no longer taking. I hate to see them affected like this. I wish I could do better, but I can't. So far, Michael Kohler says while they've shut down production, their employees are not being laid off. We've been keeping everybody busy with maintenance, repairs, general cleaning, things like that, just to keep them busy. You know, we don't. We don't want to be a company that does that to our employees. The family says the key is getting the consumer back to consuming. Things need to open up. The East Coast is ready and eager to go out to eat. We need restaurants. We need delis, mom and dad, sub shops, everything. So in this plant, far from any COVID hotspot, they are looking to Harrisburg to get life going again. I would hope tomorrow we're on the first list, and we should be, and because if not, it's, it's borderline ridiculous. In Fairview Township, Mercer County, John Shumway, KDKA News.